applause for Mr. Jose Suleiman and the WBC one more time. Unbelievable man, unbelievable family, unbelievable legacy. Um, Mauricio uh, texted me this morning and told me he'd like me to, to speak. And so, as you guys know, we were just now getting here. I was not expecting this. Easy for me to tell my story. Um, for those of you who don't know, I just became a WBC World Champion September 8th of this year. Thank you. My journey to the WBC dates all the way back to 2014 before Mr. Suleiman passed away. I had an opportunity to meet him and he said to me, I hope you fight for my belt. You're gonna be a champion someday. And 2014, I had only been pro about five or six years. I was looking this man in his eyes and I didn't really believe him. I just thought that he was meeting a, another young prospect and you know, was just you know extending some good words to me, some good positive motivation to me. I didn't really uh, believe him. 2015 comes around, there's a WBC convention in Las Vegas. I have the opportunity to meet Mr. Mauricio Suleiman, and he says to me, my dad thought the world of you. He thinks that you're gonna be a champion. And we hope you fight for our belt someday. And now I'm shocked. Like, wow, he, he really believed what he, what he said to me, and I should probably believe it too, so. I had an opportunity to meet everyone who's a part of the WBC at that convention in Las Vegas. I got to be around everything that was going on. Everyone is, hey champ, how you doing? Hey champ, how you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm not a champion yet. There's an opportunity for everyone who's a part of the, the WBC champions to go up on stage and take a picture. And I had to sit and look at all those guys go up there and, and, and be a part of that. And from that moment on, I said, wow, I gotta win this title. I need to be a part of that. Um, my, my, one of my favorite fighters of all time, Marvin Hagler was up there. All, all these guys were up there. Holyfield and, and, and um, Lennox Lewis, all those guys were up there. And I'm sitting there and I'm just thinking, I gotta be a part of that. And uh, I didn't know how long it would take. Obviously, I, I didn't hope it would take you know three or four years, but um, my opportunity rolled around. Um, this year, September 8th, 2018, I had an opportunity to fight Danny Garcia for the WBC vacant title. And I just kept telling my team during my camp, I want this more than anything. I want this more than anything. And they believed me. Um, they, during the fight, said to me, you said you wanted this, go get it. You said you wanted this, go get it. If anyone has seen that fight, each round you saw me step it up. Each round you saw me give a little bit more and it was because of how much I wanted to become a part of this WBC family. And so for me to stand in front of you guys right now as a champion, it does me nothing but honor and privilege to be up here right now. And I thank the WBC. I thank you, Mr. Suleiman, Vitaly, for holding this wonderful convention here in Kiev. You guys enjoy the WBC festivities. Have a wonderful week, and thank you so much.